Air source heat pumps are proving to be a popular choice for new build or renovated properties such as this renovated barn in West Yorkshire where a 13,000 I bee warm unit has been used to provide heating for domestic hot water and for heating both floors of the property with underfloor heating. Max, as your company, uh, W Pearson and Son, um, you undertake property development and uh, this is one of the development projects you've undertaken. Do you want to tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, I, I um, was working on the hillside just on the property down below for the company and this one came up for auction and I looked at it actually for um, the next venture for my, for my company uh, but we brought the family up and we decided that we'd keep it for ourselves you know it was uh, ideally what we wanted a totally run down uh, two bedroom cottage with an attached barn which had great potential with a, mm -hmm. another two bedroom cottage on the side um, so basically we were quite fortunate to buy it at auction mm -hmm. So you fell in love with it as a family home and um, you've obviously done it to a high standard. Why did you consider renewable, um, and especially air source heat pump, why did you choose that? Well, when I buy a property, I take them all the, all the way back to the, the basics, basically, to all the inside of the walls. Um, I, bring, I bring them back up to current um, modern day standard building regulations, which is a good certificate to give to if you're for the resale anyway, because there's no guarantees that you can give with an old property like this. Um, but what part of the, the actual build when I do them it's all underfloor heating mm -hmm. and the air source heat pump works out with the temperatures that it produces absolutely perfect for it. Mm -hmm. So did you other, consider other renewables or was it just did you just choose air source? No, I looked at um, basically the ground source heat pump. Um, we also we're not connected to the gas round here so we looked at the oil which we we've used quite a lot in a lot of developments it seems to be the first choice or it used to be the first choice um, the costs involved of buying all the equipment when you're starting with a new build is quite a big issue um, we looked at all the costs and and basically it was the the, the cost of the, the electric air source heat pump worked out i thought favorably right. Okay, so one of the things you did with the project, um, which is quite um, interesting, was that yes, you did under floor, but you actually did it on stone, on York stone throughout the ground floor. How's that? How's that worked for you? Yeah, well, in in the last development, I used natural York uh, stone flags, um, and basically found um, that they retain the heat. It's a bit like in uh, summertime when you're outside. If you, you you have a barbecue, you may be out later at night when the sun's gone down and you lean against the wall and it retains the heat. Mm. And it's something that actually looking into is why it's so good at retaining heat. Mm. Once it's warm, it, it stays warm for, for, for quite a long time before you've got to put the heat back into it. That's right, that's good. What would you say to other maybe, other developers or other people that are thinking of building their own home? Um, what benefits do you think Air Source may have? Why would you maybe suggest to them to um, well, I think the simplicity of it for the start, really, with just the, the, uh, um, the, 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 the temperatures that you, you attain for if you're doing the underfloor heating. But you see, the, the 1300R, which, which I have in this property, it does the hot water to 65 degrees. There's no, there's no messing, it's all in a pressurised system, so it's all up to modern day building regulation standard, which everybody's wanting. Um, we're getting uh, the green issue is a big issue. For many people now, it's not just a case of well, how much would it cost if it was oil to run, or, or if it was the under underground heat, or there's the borehole option as well, but they're fairly costly and the land isn't suitable mm -hmm. for this, for the borehole really. Um, so it seems to be pretty, com pretty you know, well compared to all the other... Yeah, on a new sources. build, when you're starting from, from new, with the type of things that I, I do in incorporating my properties, which can be incorporated into a brand spanking new house because mm -hmm. I'm basically taking a 300 year old mm -hmm. house and barn and trying to make it still look on the outside as a 300 with the character and things that are in to, to be up to current day, modern day building standards. So you're happy with it? Very happy.